I love seeing people meet running for buzzes and then they miss them and then pretend they didn't want them. <laughs> What's all that about? are bad when you go in shops. I don't like it when they start... You know when they think you've got forged money? And they make you feel... And there's a queue behind you. They start looking at you like, you know, you, they start holding up to the light, see if Queen's got a tash. <laughs> Put it on that ultraviolet machine, you know. They make you feel... I went into one shop, I gave her a £20 note. She looked at me like I'd come into her house on Christmas Day and pissed on her kids. I said, hey! <laughs> it's a £20 note, love. I'm not from Mars, so. <laughs> when she gave me my change, I bit it, Matt. Just checking, love, it's not chocolate, you know what I mean? <laughs> Two can play at that game, Flower, eh? <laughs> People apologise for change as well. Can I give you all this change, love? Can I get rid of all this shrapnel? Can I get rid of all this shit on you, love? Can I shit on you, love? Can I get rid of all this...? Oh, no, we're glad of it. We're glad of it, aren't we, Barbara? We're glad of it. We need it. Oh, you've come at right time. We're glad of it. People say stupid things. A woman come up to me in Bolton at Christmas, she went, excuse me, love, excuse me, am I going the right way? I don't know. I don't know where you're going. <laughs> I'll tell you this for free. I love that one. I'll tell you this for free. Put your money away. <laughs> Believe you, me. Believe you, me. Me? What did I get dragged in? You, me? What about... You, me? What's it going to do with me? You, me? I won't touch him with a barge pole. Who's got a barge pole? Who's got a barge pole? I won't touch him with a ten-foot pole. <laughs> He's happy as Larry. Who's this Larry? Who, who's this Larry fella? We can compare ourselves to, he's that happy. First things first, that's a belter. Come on, first things first. <laughs> really, let's have first things third, shall we? <laughs> well, I love it when you come back off your holidays and people say, hey, I see you brought the good weather back with you. <laughs> Imagine that at customs, eh? <laughs> we'll look in here, shall we? See what we've got. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm blinded, blinded. In crowded house here. Look at that, eh? <laughs> I went around my grandma's flat, I walked in, she said, Guess who's dead? <laughs> guess who's dead? I've got a guess. Guess who's dead? <laughs> Where'd you start with something like that? <laughs> guess who's dead? You'll never guess. Chuck me a phone book. <laughs> Connie. Who? Connie. <laughs> who's Connie? Connie! Who's Connie? Connie, Connie, Connie. Oh, well, now you've repeated it. Bloody pennies drop now. Answer machine. Answer machines and old people. That's not a good combination, I find. <laughs> Especially when my nana rings, about 20 minute message. Hello, hello, it's your nana, you there? Hello, I don't like these bloody things. Hello? <laughs> hello, it's your nana. <laughs> Our answer machine message at home says, please leave your name and number after the beep. Come on. Beep. Hello, my name is Mum. <laughs> do you ever dip your biscuit, your tea, and it breaks? Do you ever do that? I swear to God, no matter how old you get in life, you, you never quite get over that. <laughs> and you panic. You know when it falls in? It's like a moment when it, there's nothing you can do. You can see it happening. But you can, and it's like slow motion. It's like, oh! Get a spoon! Forget it.